Time to link up some computers, stock up on Mountain Dew, and have some fun. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 LAN party games. From the early days of online play to now, these are the finest games to include a mode for local area network play. Running Riot. Whether they're shooters, strategy games, role-playing games, or any other genre, we've found the games that best encapsulate the experience of LAN play. We're focusing on networked PC and home console games that justify the convoluted and tricky setups to bring an experience that online play simply cannot replicate. We made it! I can't believe we made it! Son, we just crossed the street. Number 10, Command & Conquer Red Alert 2. The Red Army marches on, but it's not unopposed. We're supposed to be allies, you maniac! This classic real-time strategy game, set in an alternate 1970s setting, has a fair amount of multiplayer content. Up to eight players can enjoy customizable competitive matches, where armies battle one another for total dominance. Unit ready. Red Alert 2 also features a two-player cooperative campaign for those so inclined, acting as a pleasant team-based alternative to typical skirmishes. Plus, it's probably the most balanced entry in the series. Unit lost. Number 9, Diablo 2. Battling demons by yourself is all well and good, but there's something to be said for teamwork. Such is the premise of the role-playing game Diablo 2, which was designed to ensure single-player quests could also be undertaken in multiplayer. What's more, the game's online suite was tailored for an increasing player count. As more players entered the game, combat rewards such as experience points and items increased. That's to say nothing of the inherent fun of slaying monsters en masse with a group of friends. They're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. Number 8, Call of Duty World at War. refinement can be just as valuable as revolution. We feel that way about this entry in the Call of Duty franchise, which brings the series back to its World War II roots. For competitive matches, the excellent killstreak system and distinctive modes of Call of Duty 4 received a World War II makeover and minor tweaks. Beyond that though, there's the Nazi zombie mode, the four-player survival mode that pits online or local players against an undead horde. Nothing says party like fending off zombies with shotguns, and having your teammates next to you is always a big plus. Number 7, Halo Combat Evolved. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going well. Nothing like some classic first-person action to bring people together. Halo Combat Evolved, widely viewed as the first killer app of the Xbox, made its name as the first console game to offer LAN play. Since the first Halo game didn't have online play, you could only cram the full 16 players into a game via LAN, which, if you do the math, required at least four Xbox consoles to be linked together. Running Riot. Regardless of the difficulty in setup, the experience of battling other players in intense gunfights made the effort worthwhile. <laughs> Number 6, Minecraft. Who knew that mining for diamonds could be so much fun with friends? Well, it seems that way with Minecraft the open-world sandbox game that's taken the world by storm. One of the game's unique features is letting players open up their single-player worlds to local area networks, letting a tight-knit group of players enjoy a custom world in close quarters. We certainly appreciate being able to build a fortress with friends, without needing to set up a server. Number 5, Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. On top of being immersed in fantasy elements, this strategy game also delivers a fulfilling LAN experience. Yeah, 
The multiplayer in Reign of Chaos focuses solely on destroying other people's constructed buildings, giving competitive gamers a clear-cut objective to strive towards. The damned stand ready. Of greater significance, however, is the ability to host custom games. Instead of relying on matchmaking, players can simply band together and develop their own match with their own special rules. Add to that features like clan creation and arranged team games, and you have quite the group-friendly game. Of course, this is also the game that gave rise to Dota, an equally popular mode to play with your buddies. Number 4. Left 4 Dead The apocalypse is a little less lonely with this one. Developed in a partnership between the Valve Corporation and Turtle Rock Studios, Left 4 Dead was built from the ground up to be playable in any form, alone, online, couch co-op, or via System Link. Should four players connect their consoles or computers, they can enjoy five campaigns full of aggressive zombies, intense gunplay, and narrow escapes from death. What makes this game all the more enjoyable is the AI director, which ensures that no two playthroughs are precisely the same by modifying the enemy layout and the location of resources. They're changing. God damn it, Bill. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> Number three, Unreal Tournament 2004. Monster kill. Four. Holy shit. Holy shit. Player versus player combat is always entertaining. But Epic Games' 2004 multiplayer-oriented first-person shooter offers a bit more than what's expected. Across the game's 10 different modes, from genre stalwarts like Deathmatch to Capture the Flag, to more unique offerings like Last Man Standing, its unique blend of fast-paced movement and plentiful weapons makes for engaging battles between players. What's more, the continued support of the game by Epic and the extensive modding possibilities ensure that Unreal Tournament 2004 will never truly go out of style. Instruction. Number 2. StarCraft We tip our hats to you, Blizzard. You know your way around a strategy game. Orders received. You want a piece of me, boy? This distant future set RTS from the minds behind Warcraft and Diablo not only delivers a plentiful single player experience, but also revolutionized esports as we know them. The secret behind the popularity of StarCraft in competitive and LAN party circles lies in its design. The three playable races are distinct from each other, yet open to player strategy, with every unit built remaining useful from start to finish. Reporting for duty. The balance at play here is incredible, and we have nothing but respect for it. Reporting for duty. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. left. <laughs> Number 1. Counter-Strike Some games were built to endure the test of time, and this is no exception. Unstoppable. Developed as a mod for the game Half-Life, this competitive shooter gave new life and energy to the land-based multiplayer scene. Selecting equipment and joining one of two teams, players engage in pitched combat, with the ultimate goal varying based on the given map. Counter-Strike gained such popularity that in 2004, the game was used as part of the first professional fantasy esports league. And with Counter-Strike Go, the esports scene is still pumping with Counter-Strike. That's quite the pedigree. With our list, what's your favorite land party game? I don't give a wooden nickel about your legacy. You call them off, Alex. 
You called him off. For more inclusive top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Let's not throw a party till we're out of the city.